Right, this is the solution video for section 5.2, problem number four, part D. All right, so we've already done uh, A and B, which is going to uh, be necessary for us to do part D. All right, so it says for T greater than zero, right? So we're going to start at T equals zero, uh, and we're going to give this uh, motion diagram, right? So the first thing we want to know is we want to know where is the object at zero, right? Okay. Then we know, right, so if I put zero on my number line, we know that the object uh, moves to the right from zero to two thirds, right, then moves to the left from two thirds to one, then moves back to the right uh, from one and beyond, all right? Uh, and so, all right, uh, we're first of all gonna figure out where the object starts, right? So I'm gonna plug zero in. So I get two times zero minus one times zero minus one squared, right? So two times zero minus one is negative one times zero minus one squared. So that would be negative one squared. So we're starting at a point of uh, x equals negative one on uh, our number line or on our x axis. All right. So x of zero is one. Then we want to know where does it go? Uh, how far to the right does it go uh, when it gets, when it changes direction at two thirds? All right. And so two times two thirds minus one times two thirds minus one squared. All right, so two times two thirds is four thirds minus one is one third, and then times two thirds minus one, that'd be negative one third squared would be one ninth, right? And so one third times one ninth is one twenty seventh, right? So it starts at a position of negative one, then it moves to the right until it gets to a position of one twenty seventh, then it's gonna move to the left and it's gonna go as far left as whatever x of one is, um, and then it'll turn around and go back to the right. All right, so now I wanna plug one in. So two times one minus one times one minus one squared, of course. And so two times one minus one, that's one times zero. So it goes back to zero. So that starts at negative one, it goes to the right to 127th, back to the left to zero, and then it goes back to the right, well, forever. All right, and so here is our motion diagram. I'm gonna put, remember this is zero, this is x, the x-axis, right? So uh, we're starting at negative one, right? And then we're going as far right as 127th, right? So we're gonna start at t equals zero. We're gonna travel to the right until we get to 127th, right? So I'm gonna put a little arrow there. Then we're gonna travel back to the left, right? Sorry. Travel back to the left until we get to uh, 127th. Sorry. Yeah. We travel to the right. This is at t equals two thirds. Then we travel back to the left. And at t equals one, we get to zero. And then we turn around and we travel back to the right. Well, forever, right? We didn't give you an ending time. And so this would just go forever to the right. All right. So that is our motion diagram for 4.2.